if a person is is dying, they're ill, they have a terminal illness, and they're dying. Um, is it realistic to pray to pray for the person to get better? I mean, we know that uh, that it's by all appearances he is not getting any better. He's not going to get better, and um, so we pray for that person. The person's on his well, deathbed. There's no such thing as a person impossible for him to get better. We know many times doctors have given up on people and the doctors were not correct. People lived many years afterwards, the doctors were wrong. The doctor has, 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 has the right to try to cure a person, but they have no right to write off a person from, from, uh, from life. And uh, we know many times the turn, tables turn around, people are able to uh, recuperate from the most the difficult sicknesses, and all of a sudden they take a medicine that helps them, or and sometimes they don't real they don't realize it. it's like a like like a miracle the doctors talk about. I once heard about some doctors that were talking about different statistics about uh, different diseases and and problems, and one doctor said, "Don't bring in the Jews into discussion. They are a different category because they they they." they his experience is that the Jewish people, that uh, they have problems and, and the doctors uh, make a lot of mistakes because they have the power of prayer and uh, they could turn things around. So uh, uh, I don't know if I save the story now, if, if I'll try to not, not to, to, to stay too long, but to take a, take a say it very short story that the person himself, a rabbi who, uh, was in the hospital and the, he had a child who was very, had a, a lot of problems. The doctors knew him because the child was in the hospital a lot. And there was a, a woman there with a baby who was not a Jewish woman even. And, uh, the, the, and, and she was very upset that the child was not well. And she went, the doctors, go to that rabbi. We, we can't do anything for you. You go to the rabbi and tell him to do what he wants you to do. So she went to this rabbi, as I know he is. And uh, she said to him, I have this child is so sick. And so he said, we have to pray, but who do you pray to? So he said to pray to the, he said, well, you have to pray to the right God, that God, the one God in the world, there's only one God. If you pray to the wrong God, it's not going to help. You pray to the one God in the world, but the God of, of the Jewish people, God of the world is the only one. He'll help your prayer, he'll help your, your child. So the lady fell down to the floor, crying her heart out, crying to Hashem, to this God that he told her, the one God. And that morning, the first time the baby had a wet diaper, the first time in his life. So uh, the prayer that she made to the right source of prayer and put her whole heart into it, uh, the Jewish people have the power of prayer to uh, to change things. So uh, no matter how sick a person might be, uh, as I said, one of our students uh, was in a bad accident just, just recently. And the doctor said, we'll never walk again. He went to the biggest doctors all over. And they said, we'll never walk. Well, guess what? He's walking. And uh, he's, a very, uh, he's a very pious person. He's very educated in Torah knowledge. And, the Yaakov, and, and uh, he's walking. And all the doctors, wow, they can't believe it. We never thought they'd be able to walk. So we can never yeah. give up on somebody and say that's not going to happen. But uh, we also have to keep uh, praying. And like I said before, Praying itself brings a person at a higher level of, of, of spirituality, most close to Hashem. That in itself is something worthwhile to pray. But we never know how far prayers can do. I mean, they can certainly prolong a person's life for sure, make it longer than they said they think it, but sometimes they might live much longer than, than that was predicted. You can't give up. Who can I call? 